Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to watch and react. Well, I am going to watch and react on the show Queen Charlotte that came out like uh, last week, I think. Um, I watched uh, the the show Bridgerton, Bridgerton um, this weekend, like the two seasons. And um, yeah, I loved it. Uh, a friend of mine told me to watch it and um, my sister did too. And uh, I don't regret it because I thought that I wasn't gonna like it. I don't know why, but I pushed that show aside for a while and um, since many people told me to watch it that I would love it and stuff I decided to give it a chance and uh, I feel so stupid for not, for not watching earlier and um, and yeah it's amazing uh, my favorite season is season two with no doubt I love season one but season two has my heart I love Anthony and um, I already loved him in season one, um, the, the impossible love with uh, him and um, the singer uh, Sienna. And so when I saw that there was a whole season based on him, I was so excited. So yeah, season two is my favorite one. Um, I probably will do... Um, a reaction maybe with my sister since she watched she watched the first two seasons of the season three when she when it's gonna come out and uh, yeah i'm pretty excited uh, to see um more of this show but today it's queen charlotte because the queen in the in Bridgerton show is like badass bitch and I'm pretty excited to see a show based on her, on her past, um, with um, how she married the king and uh, stuff. I re I'm really, really excited because uh, when I first saw the queen, I was like, what the hell? She's so different from the queens that we know and we see in most, in most shows and movies. And I loved it. It's so modern. This show is this whole show is modern in so many ways. And um when she was like all the time saying, um, um, is the king dead? Is the king dead? I was like, okay, it's not a it's not a marriage of love at all. And then there was this scene in season two where she was talking with Edwina about the marriage that Edwina was obviously not gonna do because there was something between you know um her sister and uh anthony i'm not gonna spoil too much if you haven't so um if you haven't seen uh bridgerton but uh yeah obviously it's gonna that's gonna have spoilers uh when i'm gonna talk about queen charlotte because maybe i'm gonna have to talk about bridgerton as well since she was on it as well um but yeah, uh, I thought that wasn't a marriage of love. But then there was this scene in season two where the king basically arrived and because he saw the fireworks for the wedding and he thought it was for his wedding to the queen. So we understand that King um, George is basically... Um, sick is losing his mind i think um and uh and adriana is talking to him to into his um belief that it's his wedding and she talks about the fact that they love each other the queen and him and stuff and you can see that charlotte is like trying not to break down in tears so you see here that she's actually really loving him, but she's like so hurt, so struggling every day with this sickness that she would 
prefer that he was dead so that he would be in peace, you know? So that made me want to watch Queen Charlotte even more because I want to see how it started and the evolution of their love, if they loved each other at the beginning or if it's like a kind of forced marriage and then they loved each other you know i want to see that because obviously i haven't read the books so i'm new to all of this and it's even better um but yeah i'm pretty excited so with no further ado let's get to the show first episode i'm pretty excited dearest gentle reader this is the story of Queen Charlotte from Bridgerton. It is not a history lesson. It is fiction inspired by fact. All liberties taken by the author are quite intentional. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. The dresses are already so beautiful. The actress. Perfect. So she is from Germany then. Okay. Spying is not. <laughs> mm -hmm. What the hell? <laughs> Did she just do that to interrupt them into where the fuck they are signing for? I don't know. So that was probably a forced marriage and um, and there she couldn't have a word. Well, she's a woman, so basically, yeah. I love the carriage. She doesn't really seem happy. But wow. I am wearing Leonie silk encrusted with Indian sapphires, working with overlay of 200 year old lace. <laughs> Apparently, too much movement can cause the sapphires to shred the lace. If that were not enough, the gown sits atop a bespoke underpinning made of whalebone. <laughs> this is a really badass. I love it. If you ever paid attention, you would also know that the problem with whalebone is that it is rather delicate and also very, very sharp. And of course, I'm in the height of fashion, so this corset is quite snug. So I give the appearance of a statue, ridiculous to the eye, but that is because I cannot move. And because I must arrive on display, I am forced into a ludicrous gown, so stylish that if I move too much, I might be sliced and stabbed to death by my undergarments. <laughs> oh, how joyful it is to be a lady. Yeah. I fear you, Charlotte. It is a viable option I have considered. Moving. Choosing to be killed by my undergarments. Charlotte. We have what? For an hour to go? I believe if I am diligent with my movements, I could most certainly bleed to my death before we reach London. <laughs> like special. Special. I am a stranger to them. They are strangers to us. You cannot think me this ignorant. There is reason they wanted me a stranger. And it cannot be a good reason. I know it is. He's so annoyed. <laughs> I signed the betrothal contract. You are doing this. No. Yes. Brother, turn the carriage around or I will bounce. I will bounce and I will impale myself on this ridiculous corset and bleed to death. Charlotte! <laughs> See, for the fact that you are now exceedingly headstrong and mistakenly think you can make decisions, yeah. you cannot. I am in charge. This is happening. I do not see why you could not just... Because they are the British Empire. And we are a tiny province in Germany. We had no choice. I had no choice. So it was a forced marriage turned into love. That's always like that. Reason might be terrible. I know that no one who looks like you or me has ever married one of these people, ever. But I cannot question, because I cannot make an enemy of the most powerful nation on earth. It is done. So shut up, do your duty to our country, and be happy. Ouch. Mm. Hard. 
But it was like that at that time, so... Oh, we see her, we see her in the present time. Nice. Your Majesty, I am sorry to disturb you at this hour with such news. Shut up, Doctor, and talk. Is he dead? He? The King? Is he dead? Oh, no. Again, she's asking if he's dead. You're lucky my face is a rare jewel. Your Majesty. If I could still have people beheaded, you would be in the queue. Your Majesty. What's the bad news? <laughs> and while our hearts grieve for the loss Are of... Are we gonna see the Ferguson family? I hope so. Yeah! Our heads. I'm even more excited. I love this family. After all, Her Majesty has 13 children, and now not a royal heir from any of them. At least, not a legitimate one. What does that mean? Does she... she doesn't have any sons? I love that we see the present and the past in the same show. That's so cool. Because she's looking at her like a piece of meat. Teeth. Teeth. What the hell? Oh, she needs to smile. Mm -hmm. You have good hips. You will make lots of babies. What the fuck? That is good. That is your job. As many babies as possible for my son. Yes, Your Highness. Will I be introduced to His Majesty soon? Or... Brimsley. Oh, Brimsley is here. <laughs> He's following her like that. <laughs> Tell me about the king. He is the king. Your Highness. <laughs> yes. And? He is the ruler of Great Britain and Ireland and the colonies, Your Highness. Yes. He has been monarch since October last with the death of his grandfather. Brimsley, you've told me he is the king, he is the ruler, and he is the monarch. Those are all the same things, are they not? <laughs> I did say she had more blood, ma'am. You did not say she would be that brown. But I did say she had more blood. Very brown. What the hell? Okay. We cannot cancel the royal wedding on the day. You may need to. It is a problem. We are the palace. A problem is only a problem if the palace says it is a problem. That is a fact, is it not? Mm -hmm. True. Is this the actress who played um, the mother um, in Game of Thrones, um, the Stark mother. I think she is because she really looked and the accent, the voice and stuff. I I must look. That was a good ride. What the head just took his teeth out like <laughs> so really sleepy. But is it? Oh I think it is. It's because she must be around the Queen's age. I don't remember her name. You know the girl the woman that um uh,
down her dress. Whoa. What is he looking for? <laughs> the queen escaped. My son's grandfather, was he not? I am so pleased to have you here with us today on this family occasion, Lord Danbury. Yeah, Lord Danbury, yeah. So that's her. Seriously, is falling asleep? Oh my god. That's why they are so close friends in the present time. Oh my god, seriously. Uh, <laughs> She's gonna ruin the dress. Are you in need of assistance of some kind? Uh, I am quite fine, thank you. That's the king. <laughs> if you must know, I'm trying to ascertain the best way to climb over the garden wall. Climb? Whatever for? Because I think he may be a beast. A beast? Or a troll. Who are we discussing? Oh, well, that isn't pertinent. It's none of your business. The king. Uh, one question. You do not like beasts or trolls when he looks like matters? I do not care what he looks like. What I do not like is not knowing. Now, here. Yeah. People will notice you are missing, will they not? I shall worry about that later. Now, if you please. I just need a little help. Come, make haste. I have absolutely no intention of helping you. I am a lady in distress. You refuse to help a lady in distress. I refuse when that lady in distress is trying to go over a wall so that she does not have to marry me. Hello, Charlotte. I am George. What a qu quite a meeting. That was, of course, before I found out that you do not want to be married to me. I did not say that. Oh, you did. I did not. You did? It is not. I do not know you. <laughs> I do not know you either. But I cannot show it and climb over a wall because I am the king of Great Britain and Ireland and that would cause a scandal. But I promise you. I am neither a troll, nor a beast, just a George. I know them already. It's not that terrible. Mm. When is she stopping? They look really cute. How it must be hard to kiss someone you just met. Well, it didn't seem really hard for her here, but awkward at least. It is an honor. I'm Lady Agatha Danbury. I'm to be on your court. And we shall be great friends. Be careful, ma'am. And know that if you send for me, I shall come. Hmm? Make haste, Agatha. Coming, my dear. Mm -hmm. I have a surprise for you. A surprise? A uh, present, really. You shall need your cloak. Uh, always. The violin instrumental music. I love this so much. It is my house. What do you mean? This is where you shall live. I had all of your things moved here during the ceremony. I'm not sure I understand. If this is my house, is it not also our house? I suppose officially St. James's Palace is our house, but this is where you shall stay. It is our wedding night. And it is late. And you have been traveling. And I shall let you get inside. You will need to meet your staff. You will want to get some sleep. No, George. 
It is our wedding night. We are supposed... We are married. <laughs> are you demanding I perform my marital duty to you? I I'm not demanding. I... I'm not even sure what marital duty is. I just know. Do we not spend this night together? My governor said that is what happens on a wedding night. <laughs> I'm not all right. I... George, this is how it is to be. This is our marriage, you there and me here. Yes. Why? I, I thought it... It is easier. For whom? What? Easier for whom? You or me? I am not going to debate this with I you. I merely want to understand. You need to at least tell. I do not need to do anything. I decide. I have decided. I am your king. Okay, George, calm down. I don't get why, but. Of course, Your Majesty. What the hell, George? I hope in time you'll become used to me, Your Majesty. Wonderful. We can spend the rest of our lives together. Are they sober? Your Majesty here. I don't know that would be right for me to say, Your Majesty. It is not yet eleven. I hope this friendship. It is not fair. I will not stand for it. Really, we have lives. We have business to attend to. By business, do you mean fornicating? So she has. Or do you mean producing Man. bastards for me to ignore? My word, there are impressionable ladies present. Impressionable? I drew you pictures. <laughs> you are doing it correctly. You are making sure he's putting it in the right place. Mother! <laughs> the princes have had a record number of babies. Illegitimate whore babies. We had one heir, one royal, and she is gone. <laughs> Sorrows, prayers. <laughs> oh my god, she's so funny. Should have gone over the wall. Oh my god, that's some big bed. Big and empty, my poor. Well, that was a very, very good episode. First episode. Um, I wasn't expecting to see um, the present time in at the same time that the past and that's really cool because we get to see um, also um, the other um, um, the other characters from Bridgerton's show uh, like we saw um, Lady Danbury we saw um, uh, Lady um, Bridgerton for now and in the past we saw Danbury um, in her marriage now we understand why she stayed single after her husband died her husband is so so old <laughs> but she looks stunning and uh, Charlotte looks, looks stunning as well um, I was really liking um, the meeting and the conversation between uh, George and Charlotte and I don't understand what happened in between why George is acting like that, like pushing her away when he's the one that convinced her to marry him. I'm pretty curious, like something must have happened in his life. Maybe his parents were unhappy in marriage and so he just like decided to push that away a bit like Anthony in um, Bridgerton like he saw that when um, his, dad, his dad died her, his mother was broken and for years she didn't 
take care of her children and they suffered from it and it didn't want to be like that so we pushed love aside and um maybe george is doing the same don't know that's a theory we'll see in the next episode um but i really love this show and i'm pretty excited to watch further with you guys so tell me in the comments what you thought about this first episode of the show um if you really like um how it is how it is starting and um what's your favorite character so far i love that we see Br brinsley and um there his relationship that is going to begin with the queen and um yeah i love i love the queen so much she's so badass how she's speaking to her children for an air it's just so funny but yeah thank you for watching um and i will see you very soon for another reaction until then take care